Have you ever been collecting data in Google Sheets and you get different formats or the data that you're collecting is not exactly valid? Well, this happens all the time with dates. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use data validation to create a pop-up calendar so that the dates you collect are in the same format every single time and they're valid dates. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. This week, we're going to look at a cool little tool inside of Google Sheets to create a pop-up calendar to ensure that you're collecting valid dates. Now, the way we do this, if you see right here, we can enter dates in here, but this gets real tedious after a long period of time and you may have errors or different formats or lots of different things that could happen. It could just be all over the place, not to mention it's kind of a tedious process. So let's see how we can create a pop-up calendar inside of Google Sheets to make sure that everything is the same. Now first we want this column to be dates. So we're gonna go ahead and format this as a number just to make sure right from the start that everything is entered the same way. And so now we've got a date format here. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna use data validation to create a pop-up calendar inside of Google Sheets. And to start that, we're gonna go ahead and click on data and we're gonna go down to data validation You'll see this little pop-up here and there's lots of things you can do with data validation. So if you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer. But because we want a pop-up calendar, we're gonna hit our little drop-down, select date, and we're gonna make sure that it's a valid date. Now there's a few different options. You can show a warning or you can reject the input if it's not in the proper format right away or it's not a date it won't validate it so it won't let it in for us we're just going to leave a show warning so we can poke a yoke this in an informative fashion so let's go ahead and save it and now you'll see if we click on this cell below we can still type in it but this one using data validation will have a pop-up and that's because it will only validate things that are put in there if they're a date. So if we try to put something else in here, like a, a letter, you'll see this little red pokey yoke show up or warning sign that says input must be a valid date. So let's go ahead and do it with our whole column right here on column A. We're gonna select the entire column all the way down. We're gonna go up to data validation again and we'll see our pop-up. Now we don't want A1 to be to have data validation, so we're just simply gonna change our cell right here to A2, and then we're gonna change our criteria to date, and then we're gonna go ahead and save that. Now this one's an error, so we're gonna double-click it, and we'll go ahead and select our date. Now we can select it here, and we can select it here, and we can select it here. And it looks like we've got a little bit different format right here. So let's just go back up and make sure that our formatting was selected. So we'll go to number and select date. And you see that'll fix it. And then every time we go in, we can scroll all the way over to March. We can go all the way back to January. Any dates that we want to put in will all be in the same format. And that's it. That's how you use data validation to create a pop-up calendar and have some consistency in your data. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this tip helps you out. And if it has, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and share it, and subscribe to the channel. And if you got any questions for anything on the Google Workspace platform, feel free to comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you, with you.